So the implications, I think, can be very devastating. But you know, say, I know I always see things positive. Because what you mentioned, Jamaica still, you know, and we are talking about Jamaica now. Remember that Jamaica is positioned to be the fourth logistics space, you know. That's how we're doing all these development in Jamaica, you know. And many persons don't know. Let me make it quickly to the item that we're creating, we're expanding Vernon Field to be a cargo airport. Research has been done to create a third city in central Jamaica. UDC have the research. There are all the plans to redevelop the airport in Kingston and the one in Sangsta. They are doing one in St. Mary. I can't remember the name. It's Errol Flynn as well. They are going to revive the rail system. They do a test run the other day and thought they said doing it for children at schools. And it means a community has a few much. It has to happen. It has to happen. Because when you develop logistics space, you need ports, in airports, seaports, road network, and rail network. See? We're expanding all the harbors. During the pandemic, all of those works were continued. You go downtown and you see what is going to happen. You see what is happening. We're creating all the road networks in Jamaica, the highways through central Jamaica, and we're completing the highways around Jamaica. We are going to redevelop Goodyear Oval as a mega space for business development. See? Why? Because when the ships, if the Kingston Harbour cannot hold any more ships, they have to stay away. All by St. Thomas. Because it's the gateway into Jamaica. Note, they had expanded the Panama Canal in 2016. It was open, I think, in June. And the first ship that came to the Panama Canal was a Chinese ship, but they call the Panama ships. These ships can hold 9,000 containers. And when you leave the Panama Canal, it's a one way, and the only place they can really stop is in Jamaica. So there were plans before the pandemic to ramp up world trade, and the pandemic comes, and now it's even more important to do so. But there's a challenge. With the global warming and the climate change, because the data is showing that people have concerns about the amount of trade that can take place because water levels are dropping in major rivers ways and also having challenges in water storage in the Panama Canal because apparently what it is to release water to raise the tide so ships can come through. But I'm having those challenges. But outside of those kind of situations, the reality is that Jamaica is positioned to do so. We are creating a parliamentary school in Jamaica, in, in, in what we call Heroes Park. Looking at the lands from Slypen Road to South Camp Road for redevelopment. We are creating a major transshipment navigation point in what we call No Man's Land that are right between Jungla and Denham Town and Tivoli on the main road right there. So the man must say, use 10 acres of land to build a police station. That's a lie. No police, the man put up police station on the corner, man. But because you're going to be a major transshipment point in terms of a port, you need to have those kinds of Security, because I said Jamaica is in a transshipment point. See? And so, once you get enough more ships and enough more cargoes, and you can test them, it means enough more activities can take place. So, I want to realize then that just as in 1492, when Jamaica was the center of the space, and that has not changed much still now, it is going to re emerge as the most important transshipment point in a time when there is urgency to increase world trade. So CMU, Caribbean Maritime University, is probably the most important university now because them they do all of the navigational and the sea things as well. See? And at Jamaica alone, the opportunities are existing in Guyana and other places as well. But when you check it, Jamaica is like that. Now I have said a lot of things that you don't know. I never hear about before. And that's why I know they're going to happen. Because the man them talk about things they're not going to do. And the things they want to do, they do it and don't tell until it's done. So if you listen to the news the other day, the Prime Minister, Anjo, came on the TV after a groundbreaking ceremony at the Goodyear Oval. And he stated that they have signed off more than two years ago with all the major companies that are going to do things out at Goodyear. And I just what he mentioned that to the people. And that two years ago that signed off. So I tell you again, the things they're doing, they don't talk about it until you reach a place when certain people can't get involved in it. Because it has implications for what? For land value. So when you know, say, I'm going to build a new city in central Jamaica, that I'm in Clarendon and Manchester, you really say, all war stop in Clarendon because a man starting about beer business. You see? When you know, say, downtown, I've got to reset, and the railway station, I've got to open up back, and all these marketplaces have got to become important. 
What happened to the value of the land from Arborview out to six miles? In terms of real estate value. Remember, I said, Town Town is already a, 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 what is called a, a global protected space in terms of culture, a creative space by UNESCO, you know. So these are not fictitious things, these are real, real things. But surely you them don't know. If you don't know, them can't do anything. And so you have to give them a war. Look how I go on a south. Be a war I go on a south. And yes, it's 200 meters from which the war I go on. It has been the longest consistent development program in downtown Kingston on the waterfront. So when they're supposed to have set companies to get contract, legal contracts in those works, they must have run in the eye from one that can have a shot off for another. And how comes someone to show them what you're now bridging? Learn from those them, business over gun. That's what I learned, you know. From that bridging, you know. Business over gun. Because when people are worried, they can't make no money. It's the same idea the man about when you read the book name Stolen Legacy. How do you think the man will prove, say, the Greece economy got all them knowledge from out of Kemet? Because the says, be a war, them people in the war. And during a time of war, you don't have no increase in philosophical knowledge and them kind of thing there. It's one of the things that the man used as for evidence and making you know, say, yeah. All of these ideas came out of ancient Kemet because these people were no persons who were penetrating no higher self. They were still on the material, not the intelligent or the spiritual plane as the large man that said them that They were locked into the material thing. And their consciousness reflected that as well. Well, let me hear you say, man.